ah i understand najua mimi na class so manu nafanya nini kwa darasa kwa ni siku hizi darasa and official life bro yes i understand that is a video for another day i'll do a video about that and tell you um, why I'm in this class, that's a video for another day. Anyway guys, hello guys, welcome to Life Flow. My name is Manu, I'm so happy that you're watching this video today. Yes, and so today we are doing a very interesting video. Wow. <laughs> I know. Today I want to teach you Sheng. Na Jio story, hata si mwana naongea kizungu. Jio story, leo nataka kuwafunza Sheng. Na I know there are people in your na watch na maybe you just Sheng and you don't you don't know what Sheng is. Let me explain to you Sheng. Sheng is a slang language which is used in Kenya. And so right here in Kenya we have a slang language that is a combination of English, Swahili, some vernacular, a twisting of some names. And so just to receive video yanzi. Wadau na kumbuka the first time nilianza kuongea Sheng like mimi kwa jambo resume mtaani eh hatuongeagi Sheng definitely mzazi ana kuongelesha either vernacular ama ana kuongelesha Kiswahili but mainly vernacular i went and joined a dance crew and so this dance crew ilikuwa na wasio wenye umetoka umetoka place nyingi place wanaongea Sheng like ni my youth man mimi nimezoea tu kuongea Kiswahili and English hey baby nizi baby and so ah tumekuja pale tunafanya prank ya dance by the way ama dancer wadau mimi ni dancer uliza Fred Fred mini dancer so sasa wa madanza wamekuja wenye tuna dance pale wanakoroga sheng so you mean sasa ni atuna sheng na jua mimi tunajua Kiswahili niko tu pale wanakoroga sasa hizo actually sometimes wananisengenya na sheng <laughs> Joshua Joshua na Jackie Joshua na Jacky na waona mlikuwa mnanisengenya si ndio Fred walikuwa tusengenya tukiwa na Fred so tukiwa na Fred hapo Joshua na Jacky na tusengenya lakini kwaongea Sheng alafu anacheka so just sasa miss jelewa kitu ilikuwa inabidi hata mimi nacheka tu ndio nisionekane ka au do na so nacheka lakini hakuna kitu nimeelewa so ilibidi nimejifunza hii Sheng yao and so this is not everything about Sheng just an aspect of Sheng yenye takusaidia na ndio watu wengi wanasema ndio watu wengi wa papa wanasema ah why should i learn Sheng Sheng is inaharibu Kiswahili it's true kata hii inaharibu Kiswahili and sorry to the waswahili in the house but now i think it's actually good to know sheng because because assume you are part of an organization na mnafaa muende kuongeleshe vijana kwa ghetto umeenda kuongeleshe maybe about the effects of the effects of covid-19 umeenda kuongeleshe vijana unawaambia ensure that you have a mask that you have a mask and so umeenda instead of talking to them in a language in a language they can understand unaenda unawaambia yes and so distinguished guests uh, all protocols observed good morning i am just here to cut out stuff the investigation that the country is actually bro sister wezi ongelesha watu kwa jitu in a language in a way they relate to and so because they relate to sheng it's also good for you to know at least some words of sheng so that once you go to such an area you know how to speak to them otherwise us ongelesha kwa lugha wanaelewa hawezi take what you are speaking seriously and so sheng ngaje jaki shifre ah uh, ukopiwa ah uh, niko chicha ah so jua kuvis ndo hizo ni tafu like kifi sa mi kuvis ndo is mortars and so angesemaga hivyo i love me niko hapo ah uh, okay sawa sawa hakuna kitu nimeelewa and so one aspect yenye natumika hapo unasema word kutoka nyuma so for example ni aje kija kija is the kusoma na nyuma jina jaki and so jina jaki so unaisoma kutoka nyuma kija unandoai unandoai is unaenda so unandae but now add a w hapo katikati so that it can make sense so that your word ikae ikae kama word iko na iko na uzito so unanda unaenda unandae unandoai so una check una add w katikati so first of all unaisoma from nyuma then una add w katikati in some words and then the and then another aspect is una add z mwisho so mimi instead ya kuniita manu naweza niita numa so bale ya manu you say numa and so to make it uh, ikae jina fresh <laughs> numa z unaongezea z so na nyuma then unaongezea z zenye you unaongezea z na kuna zile zenye you unaongezea w hapo katikati but the most important thing ni unasema word kutoka na nyuma ni aje kija shifre shifre is fresh ukopiwa uko wapi ukopiwa ukopiwa niko chicha chicha is church church so chicha church chicha ni church ah uh, sijue ku vihis sijue ku kuja sijaku 
but now you add a w so jue ku then you add a z so jue ku v his me soma na nyuma uka add w na uka add z wasi i hope mnani understand so jue ku v his tundua is onita tundua is is kuende onita is tao so tao in kikuyu is tao ni sawa that is kikuyu tao ni now the sheng is onita because tao ni o ni then ta Onita, so Onita is tau. So, Tundoa is Onita. Afula, alafu, afula samikus kumi. Samiku tundoa his vihis to end evi. Moata. Moata is home. Home because of mta. Mtaani kwenye nimetoka. And so mtaani, asa, yo mta, zijio o imetoka wapi. Kuna benyo mta inafanyu wafanyu wa hivi. Inakuwa moata. And so, sujue ku vihis tundoa is moata. Yes guys, I hope umeelewa hiyo sheng. And so the most important thing soma word kutoka na nyuma then some words unaongezea w hapo katikati then some words pia unaongezea z hapo mwisho. So bibi and so sasa hizi naamini msiaki kuongelesha kwambie ni joyous buddha utakuwa unaelewa na maanisha ni aje ameongezea w w na z at w. <laughs> W. Yes. And so W na Z unasoma wadi kutoka nyuma. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Ini kota hizo sheng. Hizo takuja kulana another day. But leo hiyo ilikuwa just one style in kwa takuwa funza. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe hapo chini. Cheki Buddha su. Subscribe paho nichi za fula uko mayent. Paho nichi za fula siu like video. Na hiko ndo nimejitoa.